the takeaway from the statement of that rogue officer general at the defense headquarters. Our engaging bandits so that people can be alive and go to their farm and he called out terrorist. He singled me out and called me terrorist. Nigerians are listening and some are happy because what is happening in these places are not happening to them. These rogue officers must be investigated and eliminated from our military if Nigeria is to move forward. My crime is that I stand by the people and defend them and make them go back to their home, go back to their farm, that they are not kidnapped. I release them. I don't know which sector of the Nigerian army is commanding that made him a major general. But it's sad that if Nigeria has such major generals, that's the problem of Nigeria. Our own is to help. And I will continue to help. What crime did I commit that a helicopter will come and fly over my house, the houses of my father, my grandfather, where my siblings were? If I had not spoken out, maybe they would have dropped because we were not expecting them. And they would have done something to my siblings and myself and those who are with me. That an unmarked helicopter can fly up and down. Nigeria should ask questions. How many places are these unmarked helicopters gone to kill people? And then a rogue major general. I don't know where he became major general. We stand and use Nigerian platform to say a citizen of this country will be murdered. And it's acceptable in Nigeria. If he's not wearing that uniform, will he have the temerity or that city to say he will murder me? Now to comments by some individual that they can shoot down the helicopter of the military. I think that's laughable. In fact, I'm about to laugh about that. And I say that because you know, we're in a democracy and, we're in a and we are a professional force. We cannot just based on somebody's comments begin to do certain things and then they will not accuse the military of being undemocratic. The military is not the only security agency, force or department in the country. There are other security forces who have a role to play constitutionally when it comes to some of these issues. But I tell you that he doesn't have that capability. He's just blabbing. But I will allow the security forces. Hey guys, trouble don't tie Igele. <laughs> The former militant leader, Asari Dokubo, has called for the investigation and dismissal of General Ba, a spokesperson for the mili uh, Nigerian military, following what is deemed as an unjustified threat to neutralize him and his group. The call for action comes after a series of escalating tensions between Asari Dukubo and the Defense Headquarters, DHQ, which had previously warned the ex militant leader to watch his ways or be ready to face the consequences. The confrontation stems from a viral video where Asari Dukubo, now 60, accused the Nigerian government, the police, and supporters of the former River State Governor and the current Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yeson Wike, of harassing him. According to Asari Dukubo, two helicopters had been flying suspiciously over his home and compound for several minutes, which he interpreted as a provocation by the government and his allies. In the video, Hasari Dokubo did not hold back, issuing a stem warning 
that if the helicopters continue their actions, the rigs being shot down, I don't go and look for the helicopter to shoot them down. I will shoot them, the helicopter. I swear by Allah that if I will shoot down the helicopter, the declared, he declared, making it clear that he will not tolerate any perceived threat to his safety. The defense headquarters, through General Buba, responded forcefully to Asari Dukubo's statement. The military spokesperson warned the former militant to mind his utterances or be prepared to come to the battlefield and experience firsthand how effective the Nigerian military is. General Buba also vowed that Asari Dukubo would be neutralized if he posed any threat to national security, urging relevant security agencies to investigate the matter thoroughly. In an official statement, General Buba retaliated the military's ongoing commitment to combating terrorism and banditry across Nigeria. He said, our enemy is a terrorist, although some may use different terms based on the region such as referring to them as bandits in the Northwest and Northeast. The fact remains the same, he stated. Despite the military stance, Asari Dukubo has remained defiant, accusing Nigerian army of signaling him out. He, he singled me out and called me a terrorist. And some Nigerians are happy, the former militant leader said in response to uh, General Buba's remarks. He further demanded that the officer who threatened to destroy him and his group should be thoroughly investigated and dismissed from the military. According to Asari Dukubo, such threats are unwarranted and only serve to escalate tensions in an already fragile security situation. So the former Niger Delta militant leader who has long been a controversial figure in Nigeria's political and security landscape, has often been vocal about his grievances with the Nigerian government. His latest outburst comes amid a backdrop of heightened political tensions, especially in River State, where his long standing rivalry. Uh, with yes on wiki has been widely public, uh, publicized as Ari Dukubo's accusations of harassment by government forces a likely to 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 stroke further discord between his faction and his Nigerian state. I don't understand. Asari Dukubo, I don't understand. Asari Dukubo is threatening Nigerian military. So he's threatening Nigerian government. This is not a joke. Hmm. Which kind of country be this? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand.